Oh yeah, we're back with another episode. In fact, another new Nuzlocke challenge. This is Nefashu's Pokemon Black 2 Bambulock, which, if you haven't seen episode zero, you should probably go ahead and see it. It explains more than I'm going to. Uh, but this is a co-op series that I am doing with my good friend Techno Bambino. He's playing White 2. Uh, so the basic gist of it is that we'll be going through the game uh, it starts off as a standard Nuzlocke, but after each badge, we give ourselves a new rule. And we sort of assign the rules to the opposing player, as it were. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and play this game. And I've only played White 2 the one time, so a lot of this stuff is going to be new to me. Hi there! Welcome- no, it's not do that voice. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Quite a bland title, but there you go. Sometimes this thing is shiny, and I can't wait until that day. <laughs> That's right! This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks, including the ones we use for, like, Slave labor. Have you seen the beginning of Ruby and Sapphire? There's Machoke, man. I don't know if they're getting paid for that. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people of Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me about yourself? I suppose I can. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Now, I don't actually know, because I am going to roll it from the dice. Or is it die? It's one of those. Anyway, one or two, I'll be a male. Three or four, I'll be a female. And it's a two. So I'll be a male. Which is about right, really. <laughs> Glad to know that I am in check with that. So, my name is... If I can remember what the select button is. Eh? Getting the hang of this thing. My name is Nefashu, of course. Like so. Your name is Nef... Yeah, I just said that, lady. <laughs> so your name's Nefashu. What a wonderful name. Could you tell me a little bit about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby? Would you mind telling me his name? Well, don't know if I should be giving out personal details, but there you go. Now, being as though Techno is doing the other game, it seems only fitting that my rival should be called Tech. How do you spell Techno? <laughs> Techno B! <laughs> Eventually we got there. Uh, hello? No, I don't need the QWERTY keyboard. Techno B! Techno B? Did I get that right? Yeah, I just said that. Nefashu, I'm going to entrust you with a Pokemon, because I'm an idiot. I'm sure you'll be great partners. The moment you choose the Pokemon will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you'll meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view, most of which you'll probably disagree with. I really hope you learn what is important to you as a result of your travels. Money. That's right. Befriend new Pokemon and grow as a person. That works too. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. And it's spring, apparently. It certainly doesn't feel like spring, but there you go. It's so beautiful, man. It feels weird going back to 5th gen games, having played 6th gen games. This is going to seem really clunky, I think. But again, I've only played this game, well, I played White 2 the one time. So a lot of this stuff is going to be... Kind of new to me, I guess. It's the same with my brown playthrough. It's very similar. I played that before, but not for years and years. It's so beautiful, man. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, hi. Why? How do you say that? Aria Juniper? Yeah, just say that. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokedex of my child? Why, that's great! I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. What now? She's already here? Oh, for Pete's sake. Who's this Pete fellow? Once you decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. I'm not sure why I sound like a pre and teenager, but there you go. Alright. The fetch you, I'm home. Mom, I just realized something. Where is, do you sleep? 
Right, I don't think we start the game with a potion. Oh, there's the menu. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is put the text on fast. No time for this laying around. Now, the battle scene, we will leave it on, but there, one of our rules is that it might eventually turn off. So it'd be interesting should it come to that. All right, let's see if we've got a potion. If I should check the PC. Adventure new number one. The X button opens the menu, except in my case, <laughs> because this is an emulator, the X button is actually the B button. So that makes a whole lot of sense. All right. Ooh, trash can. What is this on my bed? It's a brand new bed. What are those things? Well, oh, I got like lettuces on my bed. I'm confused. <laughs> Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but Nefashu! Do you want to have a Pokemon? I don't know. Let's roll a dice and find out. Apparently I do. Okay, step one completed. Well then, do you know what a Pokedex is? I know that as well. Oh man, my guy's pretty smart. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yet another question. You want a Pokedex, right? Wow, three yeses in a row. What's going on? Nefeshu, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. Oh, has she now? She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply look for a big green hat. That's right! You're gonna look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, you're ex Is that cross transceiver or X-Transceiver? I'm gonna try and call it cross transceiver, but I'll probably call it X-Transceiver. Do you know how to open your bag? Hmm. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> Man, my guy, thankfully, is quite intelligent. She might be lost because this is her first time here. Go look for her. Will do, ma'am. Got a fireplace. Ooh, trash can. It's empty. One of these, there will be one with something in it. So you don't have a bed, but we've got a fireplace and a TV. Let's watch the variety channel. It's time for today's personality assessment and horoscope. Sounds thrilling. So what's today's star sign? Dr. Astropuff, if you please. If you were born in December, your sign is Fracture. You work hard at everything and can do anything. Keep it around you, respect your abilities. Try to be a polite person and I'll be well. What's the lucky item for a Fracture sign? Well, carry a Pokeball. The sight of you generally closing in on a Pokeball capture is sure to change the impression people have of you. It might make people think you're a bit strange, but there you go. Let's leave. Ooh, Darumaka. When you get knocked down, just get up again. Don't let them keep you down. It's a model of a Ferris wheel. Oh man, I used to have this Kinex Ferris wheel. Good times, man. I should have got rid of it. Uh, I'm a big child at heart. Fashu's house. Oh, it's the science guy. The power of science is amazing. Now you can use communications to play with a hundred people at the same time. Except now all the DS wireless has been shut off. So no, you actually can't do that at all. <laughs> Sad times, man. They didn't really leave it for very long, did they? If you have a Pokemon with you, you can even walk outside of town. Otherwise, you're pretty much stuck here for your entire life. <laughs> hey there, Nefeshu. Going to have Techno B brag to you about his Pokemon today? Yeah. If that's what he wants to call it, that's fine. Ooh, another TV. I want to have a Pokemon bound soon. Me too, kid. I know the feeling. <laughs> What kind of relationship do you want with the Pokemon you meet? Whoa! I'm happy just having them by my side. Okay, good. <laughs> that was almost dangerous territory there. By the way, I'm someone that explores every house in the game. So, yeah. <laughs> Deal with it, guys. Oh, it's Techno B! Hey. I'm not even going to attempt his voice. So I'm just going to do my own voice. You get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here, and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Nefeshu, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Well, you know, I wasn't going to. I was going to treat you like garbage. But now that you've told me, I suppose I'll go along with it. Ellipses. Yeah. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. Person I can trust. Yeah, that, that, that just said that. That's right. I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. Well, you have made a terrible decision, my friend. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye bye, Nefeshu. All right. Let's go find a person named Bianca. Let's go. All right. It's just me and Techno B. 
And if you don't mind, we're going to explore these random people's houses. Someday, you will both go on a journey with your Pokemon too. Oh, this might be Techno says. It's too bad. If you had a Pokemon for you as well, you could compete with Techno B and see who's the better trainer. Hmm. Yes, I can't wait until that. I don't think you get a potion, so I don't know what's going to happen in the case of my starter fainting. Nefashu, did you find a Lady Copyanka? I hope you get a Pokemon soon. I think a voice. What the heck's this? It's like an old, styly fireplace. Yeah, if my starter faints, I'm going to have to like restart the entire game. And I don't know if that counts as me failing, or... I suppose it does, but in terms of this weird co-op thing we've got going on, I don't know what to do. Your mum's really good at getting Pokemon to rest and making them feel better. Oh, is she now? <laughs> Interesting. I wish the trainer school would hurry up and open, man. There's so much about Pokemon I want to know. Ah. The trainer school was just finished. No one is allowed inside until a teacher, or better yet said, oh sorry, better yet said, a gym leader starts working there. Oh. That seems a... That door's wide open, man. Usually in these games they have like someone blocking their way. Oh, what, well, I can't go in here either? Wait, I was just in the Pokemon Center, and there wasn't anyone like that in there. May maybe I just want to like buy some snacks, I don't know. Trainers are the ones who have their Pokemon partners battle. The Pokemon basically do all the work and the trainers are just lazy sods. The view of Route 19 from the Outlook is Aspercious pride and joy. We don't have much else happening in this town. What do you have to say? People go on journeys and become adults. If you don't go on journeys, you just stay as children forever. Hmm. Interesting. I think this is the last house. Hello! You're just staying at a bookshelf. I suppose your city is in the corner of the Unova region, so this isn't exactly the big leagues for Pokemon battling. If you go to the center of Unova, there may be there are many Pokemon trainers who can battle. And I can't wait because this place sucks. I haven't battled with my Pokemon, so it's still weak. This thing's right here, man! You just said it right to its face. He didn't even try and whisper it, jeez. Hello! I wonder if there's a Pokemon that was dropped on the ground somewhere. What? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You can f find it with a dowsing machine? I don't know. Is these guys just like intentionally injuring Pokemon? My flaky fortune telling says that you meet a Pokemon. Dun dun dun! I would never have guessed that. Except the game is Pokemon, so I kind of hope so. <laughs> Not encountering a single Pokemon would be kind of interesting. Alright! I think that's our last house. I think this heads up to the next route. So, indeed it does. Sometimes, wild Pokemon attack people. It's pretty messed up when you think about it. Do I get to leave? No, of course not. That goes to Route 19. If you don't find Bianca in town, I'll go check it for you. Because I already have a Pokemon. Alright, no need to show off, my friend. And up here is the Aspersia City Outlook ahead. Unova unfolds before your eyes. I don't know why we're capitalizing each word. <laughs> and these stairs aren't really stairs. <gasps> oh, I get it. The Outlook is a special most famous spot. Don't know why I'm telling you this, because you have lived here for your entire life. I'll bet Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. All right. <gasps> Trash can. Is that a potion? No, oh, it's empty. Of course, one of these days, there will be one or something. It's so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Nefeshu? Let's find out. Apparently I do. Oh man, oh yes is so far. This guy's a very positive guy. Oh wait, you're Nefeshu. Well, you're exactly like what I heard. I've turned into some sort of country pumpkin. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Yes! Oh my goodness. I'm not just saying this. I'm getting like ones and twos each time. Oh wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, fill up the Pokedex. It's totally fun. Sure it is. Do I, I get my Pokemon now? Okay then. Ta-da! In here's the Pokemon that'll be your partner. Alright. So. I have to roll my dice for this. If I roll a 1 or a 2, this is a d6, if I roll a 1 or a 2, I get Snivy, a 3 or 4 Tepic, and 5 or 6 Oshawa. Now I'm kind of hoping for Tepic, and now if I get Tepic, you guys won't believe me that I rolled the dice, but 
Only because I used Snivy in uh, my white playthrough when I play for my DS and Oshawott on my white too, so I'm kind of hoping for Tepic. Uh, let's roll the dice and find out. It's a two! So that means I'm going for Snivy! Excellent! I like my grass types. Although I think Snivy's the weakest of the three starters, so... Hmm. Oh wow, you and Snivy are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? Yes, I certainly would. And... The theme I'm going for last time... Last time on the Fashu's Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke Challenge, I went for Reggae Artists. Um, this time it's going to be a bit more mundane. I'm going to go with World Capitals. And you'd think I'd go with London being a Brit, but I'm going to go with Lisbon. The capital of Portugal, in case you didn't know. That's such a great name, it is, isn't it? Now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too, a Pokedex. Alright. Good stuff. You want to know what it does? I suppose so. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So Professor Juniper wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the Unifor region. Oh my god, my voice can't go any higher. Okay, so let's go. Hey, how long you plan on keep me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? That sounds slightly like Seto Kaiba, and he almost looks like him too. So that's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex. Ellipses. I do that a lot. Please give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tougher, right? Uh, Who are you again? I'm Techno B. I'm going to travel the universe region with my Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important. Ellipses? Well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Don't, don't you love it when that happens, when people just randomly hand out animals to people and a Pokedex? I suppose he already has a Pokemon. So, just the Pokedex, but it's still, like, pretty expensive gear. It's pretty much like handing an iPad to someone <laughs> for no reason. Oh yeah, let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Tepic to not raise from an egg. Oh yeah, Fash versus Techno B. Round one. Now, I hope I don't lose this battle. <laughs> I don't know what happens to me if... I get knocked out by a crit or something ridiculous. Go, Lisbon! Lisbon kind of works. Lizard, Lisbon. Let's see what nature you are. Uh, and how much hope I can put in you. Uh, I can't see. I can't see his nature. Attack. Yeah, speed's good. Attack is not so good. So basically, we're just going to have to wail on it and hope that it doesn't do a ridiculous amount of damage back to me. I kind of hope that it goes for, I think it's Tail Whip. So if it's just less than... Uh, okay. So hopefully it doesn't keep spamming tackle. Or that I get a crit, that'd be nice. Oh my gosh! Lisbon! Come on! Okay, it's going for Tail Whip. That's good. In a strange way. As long as it doesn't get a crit, I'm okay. And I've completely just jinxed myself. Oh, so close! Okay, it's going for Tail Whip, like an idiot. You fool! Alright! Time to turn your Tepic into smoked bacon. Okay, that was close. If it had just gone for tackle, it would have won. <laughs> I don't know why this game doesn't give you a potion to start off with, but oh well. We move on. I couldn't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forgive this frustration. I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Actually, I was going to get weaker, but there you go. The Pokemon on both sides did their best, but this little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. Alright, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who battle and get hurt. And we're here. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Go inside. No, wait, isn't it go outside or come outside? I don't know, only Brits would know. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. I can pretty much see everything right now, but the Pokemon Center heals Pokemon for free. You should bring your Pokemon here any time they're weak. I'll heal your Pokemon. Hand me your Pokeball for a second. Hello. 
Thank you very much. Next, I'll explain the PC. This square thing is a PC. Square thing. Apparently, these things are known as square things. <laughs> so, when you go into Curry's and someone asks what a square thing is, you can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. The next thing is over here. I don't know why I walked like... Imagine walking in a straight line sideways and then down. Is that how it works? This is the Pokemon. Here you can buy and sell many different items. The Pokeballs you use to catch Pokemon can also be bought at the Pokemon. Speaking of which, here's some Pokeballs. Yay! Thank you very much. I'm going to use some potions too. Next up, I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs. Follow me! If I must. Alright. But first of all, let's buy some potions. I'm going to buy five potions. Because you never know, man. Uh, and whilst we don't have the item restriction on, I better make the most of it. I wonder what you sell then. Mail? Hmm. I'm tempted just to use this mail. Uh, maybe in the future. If only I could trade with Techno, that'd be cool. What do you have to say? Alright, here's some advice from a guy who spends all of his time in Pokemon centers. I'm strange like that. When your Pokemon's HP goes down, make sure to restore it. Apparently, I spend all my time in Pokemon centers and that is the only piece of worldly advice I can give to you. I suck. Oh, you're snivy. Its nature is quirky. Oh, good, just like me. Alright. I don't know, actually, I need to check what that does. Hopefully I don't get accosted. Oh, I've been accosted. What, I even trying to escape? Nice to meet you. You must be Bianca, right? And the fashion you picked Snivy then. I forgot my voice. <laughs> hey, hey, looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take these. They're running shoes. Thank you. Because apparently you can't run unless you have a pair of shoes that it takes that you can. A perfect fit. I'll read the instructions for you. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and race round to your heart's content. Now, you and Snivy can run any way you want. Except you can't because that feature is removed from Heart Gold. I wish they could bring that back in the future. Um, this is for me. What the heck is this thing? Oh, a town map. Why are there two town maps? I'm getting confused with my voices and they're all female. I only have one female voice. I want you to give the other one to my big brother. That's a good idea. Doesn't everyone, like, have phones now? They can just use, like... Google Maps or something. But, eh, what do I know? Oh, you guys, just watching this makes me happy. Come on, we're headed for Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I already know. But, I guess we're going to see it anyway. Bon voyage. Take Snivy and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. Can do. Now, that's what I was going to do. I was going to check what kind of nature that impacts you at Lisbon. Quirky, that means the uh, oh, it's neutral. Okay, never mind. <laughs> right, so um, I'm trying to think. I think t the first gym is a normal gym, uh, so actually Tepic would have been good in that sense. Um, I'm just trying to f think of the starters. I guess the others are fairly neutral for now, except no, the second gym's poison, so I've actually picked a terrible choice. Hey, Nafashi, you can't go without. Oh, wait for it. I've got a Pokemon this time. This is a going away gift. Oh, well, I could have done with that before. Oh, well. When Pokemon get hurt, take it easy and go to a Pokemon Center. Oh, don't worry. They've already blurted all their nonsense out to me when I was in there. I see, I see. I love to read news and information about the city displayed on the electric bulletin board on the wall. I don't have much of a life, you see, and my parents hate me. So I spend all day standing in front of billboards. I'm not going to do that, though. Trash can! Is empty. I need a trash can counter or something. Alright. Hey! This way! There's only one way, but there you go. This kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Not that you know what the heck I'm talking about, but okay. Here's how it works. The Pokedex's pages fill up automatically when you meet Pokemon. And when you catch a Pokemon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokedex. Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon. Starting now! Oh snap. What does Bianca see? A pearl in. Go, little pup. So, just in case you guys didn't know how to catch a Pokemon, here we go. 
Oh man, I wonder if they could crit. I don't think they can. And I wonder if this Lillipop can be shiny as well. I know that used to happen in uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald. The rolls that Wally could catch could sometimes be a shiny. But then it would magically become unshiny. As though he's fed up with it later in the game. Alright. I wonder if the Purloin will pop out of the ball. Oh, that's fine. Good job, Bianca. You caught a level 2 Purloin. I hope you're proud of yourself. Why do you only have a level 5 Lillipop anyway? What a relief! I caught a Pokemon! <laughs> really? <laughs> I'll go with the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch, then beat the snot out of it! You need to remember this next bit. It's best to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. Use your Pokemon's moves to lower the HP of the Pokemon that you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. This sounds pretty morbid now that I've mentioned it. <laughs> You're going to deliver the tail map to your friend, right? Continue straight this way to get to Flocessi, Flocessi Town. I don't know how you say that. Bye now, meet lots of Pokemon and catch a lot of them, okay? Well, with it being a Nuzlocke, I can only catch the first thing in this grass. So, I think you can find Lillipop, Purloin, and Patrat. I think. And maybe other generic things. So, what do we get? It's a Purloin. At level 2. Fantastic. Well, it is a dark type, uh, so... I don't know, I think Lillipop was probably the best choice, but we'll see. Oh my god, <laughs> I was going to say, if you KO'd that thing, it did not deserve to live. Uh, but let's use a Pokeball, and let's go and catch this thing. Presuming that it stays in the ball. I don't think I've ever actually used a Purloin, other than as a cut slave. So, alright, well we called it. Uh, and now it's going to give a name for it. Again, we're going to World Capitals. Oh yeah. Their cute act is a ruse! They trick people and steal their valuables just to see the looks on their faces. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> I like your style, Perloin. Now, what shall we call this thing? We are going to call it... Hmm. I'll be back with a name. For no reason, I'm going to call this thing... I actually don't know if this is capital, I should probably double check. Oslo. Oslo's the capital of Norway, right? It is now. <laughs> I might just go with world cities and not world capitals at this rate. I don't know if it is one. I think it is, though. I should probably have brought a list out. Okay, so. Good start, guys. We've got a Snivy and a Purloin. Uh, what nature are you? Mild. Uh, so your special attack has increased and your defense has decreased. Uh, not the best, considering I don't think you know any special attacks. However, this thing is protected from paralysis, so there's that. So anyway, I'm going to need to train these guys. Uh, shouldn't take too long. I'm going to get Oslo maybe to level 6 or 7. Uh, and then we'll continue. So, hope you guys are looking forward to this series. I know I sure as heck am. And uh, make sure to check out Techno Bambino's perspective and see how he's doing. By the way, this funky background is entirely the work of Techno Bampino, so kudos to him. Uh, so, that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Toodles.